I don't even need the chair, Derek. <laughs> All right, tomorrow we got raw nerves and boiling. Yeah. Uh, tomorrow we have punch shows, so uh, tomorrow six dollars. It's raw nerves in Portland, Dog's Holy Life from LA, Salty Wounds, and one more. On Wednesdays we have the pop punk band off with their heads, Dear Landlord, Saint Fall Apart, and Shanty Band. So it should be a really good show. That's five bucks. Thursday the for us to go ahead too. What? Asymmetric warfare at the goat head on Wednesday too. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Here Thursday, Thursday the 30th, the Tains. Are they? Um, Resign to ruins. <laughs> Here's a bit. It's asymmetric yeah, warfare. Yeah. Play that yeah. day too. Yeah. And make, <laughs> shut up. And that's five dollars as well. And also, um, August 26th, next month, we'll have NBC. This weekend, we're gonna start selling free uh, pre-sale tickets at eight dollars. Day of the show is ten. We're only allowing 150 people in, so I highly suggest get the tickets. All right, thanks a lot. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Yeah. My name is Pat. I come from Vermont. I play punk rock songs as well. Yeah. 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 yeah! yeah! This song's about partying all the time and shit. Fuck party. Just cause I drink don't mean <laughs> I don't hate stupid drugs But just cause I'm singing it That don't mean shit That don't mean that I'm not one But those jerks by the case They aren't leaving me I stick expletives in the holes in my thought process when I speak. 
My friends stick to their guns, they got a bunch in the woods of Vermont till the end times come. But Saturn says he's gonna learn to live. As if the world wasn't gonna end in I admire. gonna do my best to drink coffee in the morning and live as if I didn't feel lonely and hopeless and helpless to save myself from the world where I live and tonight when I dream it will be that the junkies spent all the drug money on community gardens and collective housing Woo! and the punk kids who moved to the have started filling potholes and collecting garbage to prove we don't need governments to do those things and I'll wake up burning Times Square as we sing throw your hands in the air cause property is robbery case to say that the protagonist of this particular song is a woman, and uh, this song is fucking awesome. Nice. Wow. <laughs> County Road 233, under my feet, ain't nothing on this road but a little old me, I got two miles till he makes bail and if I'm right we're headed straight to hell cause I'm going home gonna load my shotgun wait on the porch and light up a cigarette he wants a fight well now he's got one he ain't seen me crazy yet slap my face and then he shook me like a rag doll don't that sound like a real man I'm gonna show him what a little girl's made of good powder and lead Another sense packing. You can hear him come like a whole five wind. Oh, he pulls in the drive, and the grapple flies. Oh, but he don't know what's waiting here this time. Cause I'm going home, gonna load my shotgun, wait on the porch and light up a cigarette. He wants a fight, well now he's got one. He ain't seen me crazy. responsibility and applying that idea to household chores. We're kids building models of a world that we might want to live in. We're sorting feelings in our stomach. Is this liberation or starvation? But have we made it anywhere at all if the dishes are never done? We can't live without dishwashers. How would we live without cops? And so you're asking me, who does the dishes after the revolution? Well, I do my own dishes now. I'll do my own dishes then. You know it's always the ones who don't. 
Who asked that fucking question? <laughs> Doing heroin will seem easy as pissing. On that day, I'll stop talking so much shit about the government. Cause urine speaks louder than words on a politician or on a prison warden. Urine speaks louder than words. Well, millions get locked in a cage and riots break out in Oakland. But urine speaks louder than words on a prison warden or on a BART policeman. Urine speaks louder than words.
<coughs> All right. <coughs> How are we? Oh, like you like the the frizz, <coughs> like my uh, fro. Ah, oh. I um, hey Nadashi, Karina, I am cute. Ah, uh, hey Zippy. Ah. Oh. Fucking A. Thumb hurts. Forearms are a little fucked. I've started doing um, <clears throat> uh, overhand pulls. So I'm starting to train pulling. And that's just one step closer to a, a fucking rock wall again. Oh, my uh, thumb may not, <clears throat> may not hold up. It seems arthritic in my old age. Uh, the more I use it, but it is what it is. Um, the forearm's gonna be a fucking thing. Right there. This, this. Mm. Uh, we're giving hand jobs to the Bellagio again. The hand jobs are pointless. Also, the Bellagio's like way the fuck in. I wouldn't shut that far. Uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah. So, I suppose, yeah, I could actually do one. I've got a bar right there. Anyway, <clears throat> yeah, we're we're trying to head back to the climbing gym, and then from the climbing gym to the fucking wall. Your arm hurts because a new tattoo. You got any photos, level? So sassy. How you doing? Um, yeah. Would you would you get? Would you get fucking level? <clears throat> Um, let's see. Is there any anything I really wanted to talk about? I mean, we could talk about the Trump documentary stuff. That's fucking hilarious. That I I I mean, Jesus fucking Christ, they were incompetent. It is astounding how fucking insanely incompetent those idiots are. Ah, uh, sassy fighting the fight, sassy. Um, the Trump documentary? Okay, so there's this guy um, fucking Hustler? Hessler? Hessler? Hustler? Give me a sec. Holder. Holder. Um. No, no. A uh, guy by the name of Alex Holder. Um, apparently, during the, uh, during the January 6th incident. Oh, rock on uh, level. Uh, during the January 6th incident, uh, Nanashi, I'll scroll back and we can start talking about your stuff as well. Um, <clears throat> during the January 6th incident, they, um, Trump had apparently given access to his administration um, to a documentary filmmaker by the name of Alex Holder. Alex Holder and his fucking team were like on site when January 6th was occurring and they have unedited footage of everything, apparently. They've been subpoenaed by the committee. It, 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 Alex Holder's fo raw footage has been uh, subpoenaed by the committee because, uh, yeah, he apparently was in there. <laughs> like, it, uh, Holder released a statement on, uh, uh, on t today, quote, he had unparalleled access to Trump and others over the final six weeks of his presidency and that he has never before seen footage of the Capitol attacked, uh, attack. When we began this project in September of 2020, we could have never predicted our work would be subpoenaed by Congress. He has, he added, I have no agenda coming into this. I only wanted a better understanding of who the Trumps were and what motivated them to hold on to power so desperately. That was sort of the focus of the documentary, apparently. Um, his documentary is called, uh, called unprecedented. Um, what I absolutely love from this, Hey Deirdre, what I absolutely love from this story is a, is this quote that it, it may be apocryphal. It may be apocryphal, but this is hilarious. <clears throat> okay. A former tr top Trump 2020 official messaged 
his contact, his journalist contact at the Rolling Stones, who I believe may be Nikki Ramirez or Asawin Subwissang, um, <clears throat> given their who wrote this. A former top Trump 2020 official, unnamed, apparently messaged Rolling Stone this morning <clears throat> after seeing the Politico piece talking about how this documentarian's footage had been subpoenaed and that there was a documentarian on site. A, a former Trump tw uh, 2020 official s sent a message over to their contact at Rolling Stone. Quote, what the fuck is this? Apparently, they were blindsided. A bunch of them didn't even know it happened. That they had no idea that there was a camera crew in the White House at that time. There's like a bunch of people apparently that were like, I'm sorry, what? <clears throat> Could you just repeat that for me really quickly? There was a camera crew. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, literally somebody fucking contacted their journalist pal. I was like, what the fuck is this? Like, what's going on? <laughs> There's a fucking documentary film crew on site? Nobody knew, apparently. It's fucking hilarious. It's, it's literally, they were blindsided. Somehow, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. It's uh, Holder's Film Company confirmed... Tuesday, it has been subpoenaed. It's going to sit for an interview with the panel on Thursday and has fully complied with all of the committee's requests. <clears throat> Adrian, thank you. The follow. Um, that's, I'm not. I have a bespoke bot system on the channel. Despite the fact that it may look like that's some stream element stuff or stream labs. That's happening on my side. Um. Yeah. Nice try, though. Fair enough. <clears throat> hey, Sidewalk. Uh, how dare this documentary crew slander me by filming my very actions? Yes, I know. Right. Um, yes, yeah, documentary people are super sneaky. That's how they get shots of lions mating without getting eaten. <laughs> dude, dude, they were just they were just sitting there. Like, they were just sitting there. Dude, what's his name? The guy who wrote the book, Fire and Fury? Um, Wolf, right? Wolf? Um... Dude, he was sitting there the whole time, too. Like, not for January 6th, but, you know, like, yeah, yeah. Trump is a narcissist. He needs he needs that fucking energy. He needs that attention. Uh, my younger brother just started tattooing earlier this year. It's obviously missing half and shading butt. You know what? That's not bad for earlier this year. And good on you for letting your fucking younger brother try on you level. Dude, I wouldn't fucking... I wouldn't let him. I don't have any brothers, but if I had a younger brother, I probably wouldn't let him fucking tattoo my arm. Um, <laughs> I gotta feel. I gotta feel. Um, <clears throat> fuck it. Uh, ooh, why is this down here? It doesn't belong down here. It belongs up there. Thank you. Very good. <laughs> Of course they did. <laughs> of course they did. <clears throat> uh, watching Alex Jones's deposition was cathartic. I went down that rabbit hole for years and found my way out. He needs to be prosecuted. Brag went. <clears throat> um, I did the I did the the conspiracy circuit. Uh, me and my buddies here in Vegas. Um, we. Um, we, we ran, well, some of us ran it to its completion. Some of us fucking bailed, right? Um, I can tell you for a fact, the, the du two dudes who ran it to completion, everybody else fucking bailed, right? The whole crew. But the two dudes that ran the conspiracy pipeline to completion, one of them, <clears throat> who I was closest with, now believes that blacks had it, be uh, had it good under slavery and that Jews control the world and are the problem. And the other one believes that his car in particular is being watched by an NSA satellite. 
Like they've they've got a tasked NSA satellite to his car. If he drives anywhere, if he goes anywhere, he's being constantly monitored by a geostationary satellite. Yeah. Yeah. I I I I'm super grateful I did all the conspiracy theory stuff. I did esoterica, I did conspiracy theories, uh, I did a shit ton of fucking uh fucking psychedelics. Um but through it all, I was always a technologist and an anarchist, so feet were grounded somewhat. Um, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was, I was the last to bail. The other two have just committed. I was, I held in the longest. I mean, neither of them are seemingly neither of them are flinching. They've given themselves over to it. Um, so yeah, I was, I held on the longest. I was like, I can't do it. It's fucking crazy. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Stark stick poking Kai Kum on pro uh, probably radical shoulder. Wait, starts stick poking Kai Kum on. I, I don't. I don't know why you're. I. It's gone by. Sorry, Karina. I missed the reference. Uh, and shit like this is why we think Americans is insane arming teachers. <laughs> oh, I know. Even we think that's insane. Nanashi, don't worry. Like, even I'm full on Second Amendment gun owner, anarchist, like, for sure, for sure, for sure, right? Um, but even, even, we're like, you know, it's like, that's not the answer. <laughs> that's golf clap. Anyone else huffing some copium that Trump may actually be indicted for sedition, or is it just me? No, Axel, I don't think shit's going to happen. No, power doesn't indict power. No, I don't, I don't, there's no, I don't think shit, it, it just, pay attention to the details, enjoy the ride, you're a part of a historical moment, this is the sort of stuff that gets written into history books and shit like that. Um, enjoy it for what it is, the entertainment. This is part of the, you know, the bread and pe uh, penimets or census, uh, you know, sort of situation. Um, sorry, Marcus, for my pronunciation of, uh, of how I just butchered the C's, I think, in the Latin. Um, but this is, this is part of the circuses portion of that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that fucking enjoy it. Enjoy it while you can, while you can, because it's about to get a lot weirder. Um, as a diagnosed narcissist, I refuse to be associated with anyone who can't at least be mixing levels of evil. Standard people's, standards people, standards. Jeez, and Marcus. Oh no, I almost went that far. <laughs> Braglin. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a fucking thing, Braglin. It's a thing. Uh, he has a phone, doesn't he? Of course he does with her. So like, cops are clearly pointless. How do they not realize this admission that cops are a waste of money? Dude, I'm loving, dude, I'm loving the Ovalde thing level. I, I, for, do, you know what? For the first time, I feel like some kids may have actually died for something. I mean, it's fucked up to look at it that way, but like fucking Uvalde is the nail in the coffin. Like now we, the conversation's there. It's like, just like that. And you know what? They've argued before in court and this is why they're not legally responsible. This is just you finally noticing this shit has been going on. Like this is the, the final nail in that argument. It's, it's fucked up to look at it that way, but I mean, you know, oh yeah, Bragg, Electric Universe. I know that one. Um, um, uh, Bragg, uh, Bragwin, Seven Bomar. Do you know the name Seven, uh, Seven Bomar? <clears throat> What's up, Corey? How you doing, you DJ and fuck? It's just hilarious how they don't actually look for solutions to whether, well, I mean, you know, <laughs> There's a reason for that. <clears throat> Wait, when I know that the guy he poked his eye out uh, sharpening a pencil, oh, why arm him? <laughs> oh shit, yeah. Agreed, he did a coup. Nothing will happen. <clears throat> I can see my mom trying to get the kids to shut up uh, uh, with warning shots on a Friday before a holiday. <laughs> uh, what do you uh, think of the reaction if... Um, <clears throat> Nope, I did fall down spirit science for a while. Okay, I know spirit science. We enjoy spirit science on this fucking channel. We we have a good laugh at spirit science. Um, Seven Bomar is yeah. He's I forget what his fucking nonsense like what he what he titled his nonsense. But yeah, he's one of those spirit science vein of uh, uh sort of energetic uh energetic mind based consciousness reality and eleventh dimensional entities. And, you know, 
not not just opening your chakras to the universe but being careful because there's like negative and there's there's uh lower dimensional uh there's higher dimensional entities out there that feed on lower dimensional vibrations and if you allow them that that port of entry this is and of course he's the whole time he's weaving it with like you know the pseudo linguistics of like you know spell words or spells uh that you cast out so ports of course this is you know tied into and they know this and this is why they hide that from you. Oh yeah, yeah. I've, dude. I've, I can speak crazy. I can speak crazy. It's fucking. It's useful. I think there's a lot of fuckers out there that believe this kind of shit. Oh. Should a really dark dream that fascinated me. Last night I dreamt the PR crew was the ancient humans woken up during, <laughs> during Star Trek TNG season one. The moment we were removed from the stasis pods, we all started feeling the electronics. The sheer number of them was so extreme compared to our era, we couldn't cope with the natural radiation inside the ship and passed soon after. Hmm, interesting. Uh, oh, someone knows his Latin. And yes, he's pronounced as K's, but only like uh, only in aristocratic Latin. It was common in the popularis. All right, so... <laughs> <laughs> you have to send back classics education, folks. That's what it looks like. Um, I don't trust classicists. <laughs> Not classists. Classicists. You can ca you can actually trust classicists. You can trust them what they're gonna do. Um, okay, I'm seeing saw pass. Uh. uh yeah, no, uh, Viva, it's not. I just fucking, I'm, I'm behind on chat. That's all. Um, oh, God, everyone hates, you invented two cops. Uh, everyone hates it now. God, spirit science is in a like smart entities laughing at apes in the zoo for entertainment. Anyone with, uh, oh, God, fucking Bagheera. We don't call the cops if we're in danger. Jesus Christ, somebody deal with Bagheera. And Narky, yes, wither. Um... Fucking doom. Anyone uh, still here from Nonsense's channel? Wish y'all knew folks could see him in his prime form. It was super way for him, and his, uh, he has adult dub, aka with the normies. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> okay, people are. Uh, there we go. Um. I'm in danger. Better call the cops. That'll work. Kai, the dream made me feel like a feudalist peasant eating a Snickers and dying. A moment of unadapted life form. I think. I think we could have survived, Karina, because. Um, I think, I think the, uh, I think the doctor would have, uh, I think, yeah, I think the doctor would have fucking figured out that we seem to be affected by some form of radiation and that fucking they put us in some fucking weird warp energy field bubble thing that completely protected us from it all and we'd you know they'd be like yes see and then they'd, they'd fucking you know and then they drop us off on some fucking planet that like, you know, it's a goddamn Garden of Eden paradise. And we were like, yeah, peace out. Catch y'all later. Just put a note in your notebook or something. Just let everybody know we're here. Well, not everybody. You know what? Don't let anybody know we're here. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> uh, what's up for tooth? No, I said it when you said your friend was tracked, but it took ages to show even in Twitch app. The app is garbage. I mean, you know. Um. Okay, so, like, I'm caught up. I can actually address this, dude. Um, oh, oh, you know what? I don't care about that. But, Gary, you're a fucking fool. Um, <laughs> couldn't get into Duke's score. I got a great speech from Scottish M uh, MP. Ms. Black sums up British age, uh, at the moment. If you, uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I, I don't mind Nanashi. Um, no, you're 100% you're, you're fine. Uh, Nanashi. Um... I saw a story out of Cleveland. Sorry, Murica Stan folks. Like most of the name places that exist, like in mid country to the East Coast, they're all stolen. Those places all exist. Those are all reused names. Um, Cleveland exists in the UK. Um, the the police force in Cleveland. Or the, this is the same police force, by the way, that let Jimmy Savile get away with all his shit, right? So, like, notorious pedophile, a uh, famous guy, really famous guy, um, really famous guy. Um, Jimmy Savile fucking, like, yeah, it was, 
It was fucking the the Cleveland police force that let him get away with all of his fucking shenanigans for so long. Um, a dude was arrested for stealing sausage rolls, and the police released him with paperwork that identified his uh, his crime as like sexually assaulting a minor, and he didn't notice. They just like fucked up his paperwork. Let it let him go and his girlfriend asked to see his fucking papers from like when he was arrested from stealing uh fucking sausage rolls he shows her she sees it's fucking sexual assault for like a mi against a minor and, sh and shit starts telling everyone and this dude fucking offs himself yeah This dude killed himself after he got caught stealing sausage rolls because the police labeled him a pedophile. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, plagiarism got nothing to do with us being colonized parasites at all. <laughs> Ah, right. Cool. Good link. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here you go. Genuine human error. Okay. Also. Oh, I love Monica Linsky. Monica Linsky is amazing. Monica Lewinsky is one of the baddest, ba uh, baddest ass bitches to walk the planet. Could you imagine living in M Monica Lewinsky's shoes? That woman is a joke on a global scale. And you know what? She fucking talks about it with grace and humility and humor and fucking she's em she easily empathize, uh, empathizes with people. She's a badass bitch. Yeah, I, I adore Monica Lewinsky, and we all owe her an apology because we've all cracked at least one Monica Lewinsky joke. Yeah, I adore Monica. She's great. I used to call myself a Lewinsky Democrat. She's also sassy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's very sassy. I, I adore her. <laughs> She's a badass bitch. Uh, kids over decades falsely accused a man of being a pedo. So the twats who let Sav, uh, the, so the twats who let Savile, uh, yeah, kids over decades falsely accused a man of being a pedo. Yeah, 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 Same crew. Same crew, Nanashi. Yeah, the same crew that let Savile get away with it for as long as he did, just did that. Yeah. Uh... She was also the most named person in a rap song for a while. I mean... Dude, my first memory of Eminem is the fucking him at the podium being Clinton and Monica coming out from behind the podium. Fucking that's burned into my high schooler brain. Oh, yeah, I love Monica. She's great. She's referencing hundreds of rap songs. Uh, oh, fair enough, Zippy. <laughs> fair enough. I wonder why we got pedo hunting groups on social media because they're more they're more competent. It seems I paid TV license money. I went to the pedal ring for decades. You wonder why I boycott the TV license? Did fuck? It. I feel you, Nanashi. I get it. All right, let's listen to this. Let's see what this is. Now, for a party that prides itself on the economy, the Tories have a shocking record of running it. Yeah. Our economy has the slowest growth in the G7. We have got greater regional inequality than almost any other developed nation. Food banks now do the job of government and provide... How do I pronounce her first name? Is it literally Mary? Is that, is that like, can somebody put a, uh, just a phonetic pronunciation, Nanashi or something? For any other developed is that just Mary? ...nation. Food banks now do the job of government in providing for families, Night, families that are more often than not in work. Mm -hmm. Government could start solving this crisis by providing solutions like closing uh, tax avoidance loopholes or creating a windfall tax for energy companies. Harry. But instead, 
we get endless bills paying lip service to a manufactured culture war. The priority isn't the economy. It seems to be things like protecting freedom of speech. And yet, the Tories are the ones that have banned schools in England from using sources that are not overtly pro-capitalist. Yeah. They're cracking down on freedom of assembly and protest. Oh, okay. They're privatising Channel 4 when the Culture Secretary didn't even know that Channel 4 receives no public money. <laughs> so the argument isn't financial. And as the member for Rhonda uh, touched upon earlier on, when we consider that the Culture Secretary was a key focus of a Channel 4 documentary once about the influence that Christian <coughs> fundamentalism has over UK politics, yeah, it becomes yeah. even more concerning that this decision is political and it's personal, it is not professional. But most terrifying of all, Madam Deputy, is that this government literally want to get rid of the Human Rights Act. And that begs the question, Thank you for, for who do they think rights have gone too far? Mm. Do you know how scary it is to sit at home and wonder if it's you? Is it your rights that are up for grabs? We've witnessed Windrush. We've, oh. <laughs> our economic strategy is to open our doors to the rest of the world when we need their hard work and then chuck them out 50 years later without yeah. a word's oh, notice. Yeah. We tell our own citizens that their safety can't be guaranteed in Rwanda, but we're perfectly happy to ship asylum seekers, people fleeing war and persecution over to Rwanda as though they're cattle to be dealt with by someone else. Mm -hmm. And despite knowing that this plan costs more than it'll ever save, this is just little England elites drunk on the memory of a British empire that no longer exists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have the lowest pensions in Europe, the lowest sick pay. We pretend minimum wage is a living wage mm -hmm. when it's not. We miss our own economic targets time and time again. We're happy to break international law. We are turning into a country where words hold no value. Yeah. And over the last 12 years, I fear we are sleepwalking closer and closer to the F word. And I know everyone is scared to say it for fear of sounding over the top or being accused of going too far. Do we have her? But I say this with all sincerity. When I say the F word, I'm talking about fascism. Fascism wrapped in red, white and blue. And you may mock and you may disagree, but fascism does not come in with intentional evil plans or the introduction of leather jack boots. It doesn't happen like that. It happens subtly. It happens when we see self pres No, I've heard enough. It happens when we see that governments making decisions based on self-preservation, based on cronyism, based on anything that will keep them in power. We see the concentration of power whilst avoiding any of the scrutiny or responsibility that comes with that power. It arrives under the guise of respectability and pride mm. that will then be refused to anyone who is deemed different. It arrives through the othering of people, the normalisation of human cruelty. Now, I don't know how far down that road we are, Madam Deputy Speaker. Time will tell. But the things we do in the name of economic growth, the warning signs are there for everyone else to see whether they admit it or not. Yeah. 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 Oh, that was very good timing, I suppose. Um, hello, public. Well, I mean, you're, you're coming out again. I'm trans. I'm... Happy to relearn this information. <laughs> I don't know how to react to that. If you're happy, I'm happy, and that's all that counts. That's, that's all that counts. You're good people. I like you. Um, I'm sorry your parents suck, though. That's, that's rough. Like, that's, that's, you know, a lot of us have parents that suck, or at least a parent that sucks. 10 years ago, got scared back into the closet. Well, welcome back out of the closet. Um, did you at least redecorate? Did you clean it up while you were in there? Um, uh, yeah, no, uh, that was a really good speech.
Um, it was a really good speech. Um, and yeah, that could cross the pond easily. Um, <laughs> oh, wait, no, hey, where's, where's Fertus's fucking link? It's smarmy link. Okay, so there it is. So how do you say it? Well, you need to understand that etymologically, this is an erroneous form of the name based on the Scottish Gaelic <laughs> vocative form. Said, fari, fari, but it is generally said as mari, mari. So there are two different ways of pronouncing it. Fari or Mari. And now you know. Okay, the F I did not see coming. The F I did not see coming by miles. Uh, uh I'm sorry. Yeah, public, that's always. F Ooh, really? Oof, that's rough, public. Yeah, no, it really can't, Bragman. It really can't. That's why I just always just ask. I just ask, I'm like, uh, well, you are French. Womp womp. Uh, the Irish with their hidden V's and the Scottish with their head and F's. Oh, that was, wow. They now watch YouTube news. Redacted. Fair enough. Uh, I, trust me, if I could um, block, I can, but he would scream and fucking raise hell. I couldn't get away with it. Uh, I would I would have eliminated Fox and all, all adjacent things from my father, my stepfather's um fucking everything <laughs> years ago I would have purged it but uh, he would raise, raise holy hell Fox News and AM radio just doesn't scream about vague elites enough uh, several of my cousins and aunts and uncles are going full bold face fash it's terrible it's like the more reality disagrees with them the harder they pull to the right yeah, yeah, that that is that can be a thing. <laughs> For two elites, uh, purge Chick Fil A. That's how they get the brain worm, brain worm, brain worm larva in it in you. Oh, uh, Jesus! All right, let's see. There were. Is there any other? Um, Y'all see the video showing how NFTs originated as an elaborate Nazi dog whistle? I... <sighs> gonna need... How long is that video? That, that, if that video is under 10 minutes, I'm watching it. If it's over 10 minutes, I'll consider it. If it's over 20, we're not doing it. All right, public. <sighs> Take care. It's about an hour? Oh, no. Yeah, no, I didn't see that. I, yeah. Why there wasn't straight white pride? Cool. Cool. <laughs> it's way longer than 10 minutes. Yeah, then fuck that. Um... Okay. But Bored Ape wasn't, I mean, that's not, okay. I mean, fine. I'll consider this. I'll, I'll look at this. Uh, I need this in one of my actual YouTube session histories. There. There we go. All right. There, I can actually save that that way. <clears throat> um <sighs> so one of the 
weirder things that I adore about Reddit <clears throat> is the fact that there's a devoted subreddit for everything. And when we when I say everything, I mean it's 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 insanely weirdly comprehensive. This is um <clears throat> okay. And why are you doing that? Let's call the whole LGBT uh, Wigobita demographic pedophiles while pretend Matt Gates isn't sex trafficking underage girls. Honestly, I'm fucking sick of their self-ordained ignorance by now. Yeah, yeah, no, there's a lot of projection. Um, Ninashi, um, I think you said you had trouble with the Discord earlier, but um, I mean, we can take a look. On our uh, on the Discord server, we have what's called uh, the, uh, the fucking list uh, at this point. Um, it's here i can show you let's see gop gross old pedos here is the master list um we have a list of like fucking republican conservative pedophiles and that sort of thing um Yeah, yeah, it's 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 a it's a good list. Um. Anyway, a Tumblr in action got banned today. Caboose, that's a shame. I know, I know. The fucking it, I I absolutely know. Like a whole chunk of fucking people. <gasps> He's uh, he likes Tumblr in action. You know what? I like I like Reddit to be as weird and fucked up as possible. Frankly. Um, okay, so here is a weird fucking um, ad series. It's a Japanese ad series for a thing called Sakuru Gummies. Long, long, my. So it's a whole series of ads. Like, there's a lot of them. Okay, this is the theme. This is the theme. Okay, there's five minutes and 47 seconds. We're 52. We're, okay, so we're two ads in, right? It is. It's like a mini soap opera. The, the stories get weirder and weirder and they get involved and we get in their lives. Okay. This character's name is Chi-Chan. Okay. There's a subreddit devoted to fuck you Chi-Chan. She, there is an entire subreddit dedicated to memeing on and shitting on this character who clearly doesn't fucking... Like, like, yeah, it, it is, this is hilarious. Yeah, that's, that's what I adore about Reddit. Not only it, are, is there a super cut of this ad series, there's a subreddit dedicated to shitting on the main character. Uh, let's see. Oh. There we go. It's just Grandpa Joe hate. This is just, this is quintessential Reddit. This is just. Old subreddits dedicated to shitting on Grandpa Joe and also fuck Grandpa Joe. Like you saw that, right? Like he was, he was up now to bed like that. 
It really was nothing. Nothing. No rehab, no physical therapy, no physio, no fucking wa- like water therapy. That motherfucker's doing like sidekicks and shit. Fucking woo! Fucking, yeah. Grandpa Joe was fucking faking it. You know that, right? Like Grandpa Joe was faking it. <laughs> fucking. Motivation is a fickle mistress. That's, that's Grandpa Joe apologia and I will not have it in this channel. How dare you? It was a disability kink. Oh, I challenge you. I challenge you. Good for him. Scamming workers comp. (laughs) Katrina, except it wasn't workers comp. Did you see the squalor they were living in? He was living off his family, the earnings of his daughter in a fucking, uh, in the wash house, right? And whatever Charlie could scrape together. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 it wasn't, it, he, they weren't scamming workers comp. So, nah. If he was, I'd be down. Okay. Um, is that a we did it Reddit moment? Oh, uh, no, no, no. No, Viva, the we did it Reddit moments are for fails. That's for fails. <laughs> when we fail, the, the, the appropriate response on Reddit is, we did it, Reddit. Uh, that speaks to the failings of the state, but still, yeah, true. Um, uh, I'm only offering unpopular remarks and bad takes. It's what I do, apparently. <laughs> nice, curious, sir. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking r slash shade Brendan. Um, fucking, oh, I fucking already forget. Uh, mm, Brendan Fraser. There we go. Um, oh God, this cursed fucking, also, this is not how I view Reddit. Just know that (laughs) my view, my view of Reddit is entirely different. Um, Uh, there was something very interesting following the Boston bomber fiasco in real time. It was following, uh, so close moment to moment, real time developments feel like you were in the know and it all <laughs> blew up. Yep. Um, yeah, Brendan fucking, that's not even an account. Karina, that's not, I would never, I would never show you a signed in a- account. Fucking, <laughs> that's not, <laughs> God, no. Um, no, that's just, this is just, just not even here. Uh, I love Brendan uh, as robot man in Doom Patrol. Yes, Wither, 100%. Yeah. Um... Let me... Here. All right. This is what it looks like on my side. Okay. This is this is this is what it you're you're seeing on that browser. This is what my actual session looks like. Well, hello fellow res user. Yeah. And and a couple other things, Caboose. You'll notice the side panels completely gone. I have a show, uh, I have a link that gets inserted that sh- hides and shows the entirety of the side panel. Just clears it out. And then I can just drop it in and out as I need be. It's a great plugin. So, yeah. Yeah, oh, good. Yeah. Yeah, we, it's attaboy. Good Redditor. Good Redditor. Both, a little bit of both. There is, um, there is some fucking script monkey shit behind there. Um, 
and keeping oh yeah old reddit dude old i if if they get rid of old reddit i'll use it i'll use it on apollo on my phone um but my interaction with the site would drop very quickly yeah ah code monkeys code monkey like you it's a good show it was a good show um, let's see. Hmm. <clears throat> um, don't really care. Don't really care. Don't really care. Oh, dude, that Ezra Miller story, Miller story keeps getting weirder and weirder. That she's getting weirder and weirder. Not like again, it got weirder. Not since I spoke to you, since we were hanging out in the morning, caboose. Um, <laughs> yes, Aspen, love that show. I can also recite every episode by, uh, by heart. Oh, it's a good show, it really is. Um, I know people who browse Reddit in light mode without res and no ad blocker. Can I only assume they're sociopaths? That or they hate themselves. Maybe they're masochists, see one. Um, no, no, not since this early AM, but yeah, dude, it just gets weirder and weirder. <laughs> now, now apparently like there's a, there's a restraining order against them in Massachusetts. It's Massachusetts, right? Um, yeah, Massachusetts, a mother and a mother and child who they threatened with a gun. Um, so, <laughs> this is the weirdest shit. So, like, a woman's hanging out with her neighbor, and there's a kid there, there, there her kid there, right? And Ezra Miller <laughs> walks into the fucking backyard, apparently. Just like walks up, turn, quote, is said to have turned up at the home of a neighbor wearing a bulletproof vest and a large uh, puffy outer jacket. The actor then berated the mother who was visiting the neighbor for using the word tribe to describe her friends, claiming it was an example of cultural appropriation. Miller then took exception to them playing the board game Parcheesi and said it was steeped in Rastafarian culture. The woman who is half black then questioned the Lily White Miller as to which part of the Rastafarian movement it originated from. At this point, Ezra explodes and start screaming directly into my face, she is quoted to have said. They then said, you don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. What did you say to me? What did you just say to me? The woman said she was, quote, very caught off guard, but then matters took an, a sinister turn. Then they opened up their jacket. They had this big, big like Sherpa jacket and they opened up one side of their jacket and you could see a gun. And they said, talking like that could get you into a really serious situation. Um, let me just hold on really quickly so we can know who we're talking about here. <clears throat> talking like that could get you into a really serious situation. The actor is alleged to have then pressed up against the non-binary child who was the young child, 12 years old. <clears throat> and then offered to buy horses for the young child and the child was invited to visit Miller's Vermont ranch. Miller then told the child they should pursue fashion and asked they add the star on Instagram. 
quote, It was really uncomfortable. I was really nervous. I was scared to be around them. And he, and this is the quote, and he'd yelled at my mother and she was crying. That is the child. The child, the 12 year old non binary child is quoted saying that. Can we just yeet uh, yeet them out of public? (laughs) Designated envy from birth? What is it with these guys and buying horses? Holy fuck. Ew. This guy needs to get 5150'd. Um, Can we just yeet them out of public? Uh, Hardcore woke scold. Um, Yeah. Um, Oh, I I have fucking anyone capable of making an armchair diagnosis of Ezra. I'm seriously curious. No idea. But don't be surprised if there's some sexual abuse in there. And I don't mean what Ezra is doing to the kids, because clearly that is. Um, That's already a thing. Um, No, uh, don't be surprised if you find some fucking childhood sexual abuse with Ezra Miller at this rate. Like, this is just this kind of unkiltered behavior pattern that you just... You expect some fucked up shit. You know, physical abuse, sexual abuse, something, something, something. There'll be something. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll be something like the, it's dude, this is okay. So after the assault in Hawaii, and after the, 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 the TRO was issued by the, the um, indigenous activist lawyer dad on behalf of the, apparently 12 is the number that keeps coming up, by the way. Um, Ezra Miller apparently likes him around 12 because the kid in the Massachusetts incident is 12. And... Apparently, the indigenous kid, who's now 18, Ezra befriended at age 12 and has been grooming. Ah, So there's a pattern already emerging. Uh, Jacques Lenoir. Lenoir. Welcome. Thank you for the follow. Um... (laughs) <laughs> that would be amazing. Uh, I don't know. Do you need to be? I don't know who you are. But, you know, that's probably a fucking warning to the mods. Um, let's see. Like, what the fuck? I was handing out with a 21-year-old tonight. They're a baby. Dude, Aspen, fucking tw- 21 is a fucking fetus, right? God. <laughs> I don't even, I don't even fucking, I don't even know what to do with a fucking 25-year-old. Like, what the fuck? I'm, <laughs> Jesus Christ, a goddamn 12-year-old. Fuck me. That's, yeah, apparently, like, apparently they like him in around 12. Ezra Miller apparently has a type. I mean, that's the, that's the two times. It's two times, you know, once is, you know, twice is a pattern. That's, that's, mm. Stray Origin, you don't even have a timeout or a ban on your account. So I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. But, you know, keep, keep, keep the, keep the victimhood complex in your fucking pocket already. Cause you fucking, you don't even have a timeout on this channel. I'm looking at your fucking thing now. Ah, <sighs> don't date younger than 28 in my opinions, <laughs> Trina. Um, 
I dated a 21 year old. It was weird. I assumed he was more mature than he turned out to be. This is curiouser. He hounded me for over six months. I gave in. Bad decision. Fair enough. What's up, Skittle Ho? Uh, bet there's a similarity between the two. Yeah, Deirdre, I bet if we saw photos. Yeah. I bet if we saw photos, we'd be immediately, we'd be like, yeah, that. He's got a type. They've got a type. Sorry. Uh, how's it going? Ah, you know, it is what it is. Live with chronic pain and shit like that. You fight the fight. Uh, how's it going for you, <laughs> Skittle? I don't think I'll be calling you Ho. <laughs> what's up, Ho? Um, what's up, Skittle? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's... Dude, that, that story just keeps getting weirder and weirder and weirder and weirder and weirder and weirder. I, it's, that's... I... Every time I fucking see that name in the headlines, I'm like, oh, here we go again. Here's some craziness. Fucking wait for it. Yeah, Aspen. Ezra is infamous, one of Hollywood's most famous non-binaries, apparently. So you better believe that. Oh, yeah. They're, oh, the Chuds are already using this. Lauren Southern, I think, or Bobert or MTG. I don't fucking dude. They're all the same person fucking um was on twitter saying like you know can we say can we call them groomers now you know that sort of shit oh yeah yeah they're already using it up late surfing streams and you just came into my recommended so here i am fair enough was it southern yeah all right <laughs> it's fucking i don't know um it's his, <laughs> it's in their name and respect that and call them a hoe Fair enough. You're you're right, Viva. You're right. <laughs> Skittle ho. <laughs> no, it's a pimp named Slickback. You say the whole thing like a tribe called Quest. Can I just call you Slickback? No. I love Cat Williams. Funny little munchkin. Um. Skittle ho. Skittle ho's a sheep. Bam. Southern tweeted immediately that this uh, this supports uh, calling all Lagabrata folk as groomers. Yeah, oh yeah, Che, yeah. It, it, it was going to be immediate ammunition for him. It's immediate ammunition for him. Yeah. People can argue that it shouldn't be that way, but apparently you've never like talked to a black person before or something. Like, it's... This is sort of shit that's classic, like, black versus white sort of shit. Like, a white dude does some crazy shit. That's just a white dude who did some crazy shit, right? He's on his own, right? If a black dude does some crazy shit, now all the black people have to answer for the dude who did the crazy shit, right? That's, that's, that's it's very, very much how that fucking aspect of race, social racism uh, and power dynamic plays out in reality is that every fuck, fucking, every got to fucking denounce, everybody's got to go fucking back away from them, everybody's got to fucking, you know, loud, be loudly heard saying that dude was a mother, you know, that sort of thing. Fucking white dudes is some shit, white people ain't got to answer for shit, right? So, like, that's just how one of those, some of those power dynamics play out. So, this is how it plays out. Soon as that shit was going down, I was like, yep, that's a cudgel. They're just going to pick that up and hit us over the head with it. This motherfucker, you, for the good of the movement, you want fucking less headaches? Dude, we need to fucking get on TikTok or some shit. Get those fucking K-pop fans activated and find this crazy motherfucker and get them off the goddamn streets. <laughs> Every fucking story that comes out with for Ezra Miller is just another fucking, uh, uh, that we have to fucking take. So... Just saying, less Ezra Miller stories, the better. Especially given the moment. Marvin. <laughs> Marvin. Uh, Marvin. My name is Marvin. Welcome, Marvin. Um, Skittles is a fun name. Like mixing uh, mixing bowling with tetherball. <laughs> oh, all these hetero whiteies doing colonial genocide. We need to incarcerate all of them. Oh, come on. <laughs> Tweeted her that she was ready to call her buddies groomers. She blocked me. Poor baby. What's up, Sergey? Uh, 
<laughs> Damn it, Leroy, not again. Yeah. No. I've been I've been there for that. I've been in the room for that fucking conversation. Fucking sitting there with his folks. Fucking. <laughs> I can't repeat what gets said. Like I I I've been in I've been the I've been the token white guy in the room. I've been that guy before. <laughs> I've been the token white guy. And I've been there for when, you know, talking about that sort of stuff. <laughs> There's conversations. Black dude gets on the fucking evening news, makes fucking national news by fucking up. Mm-hmm. What's whose routine is that? Whose routine is that? That fucking uh, white people are watching. Fucking, you know, your parents. <laughs> Marcus, you best not. Marcus, do you happen to a token or token? Both, uh, Katrina. Uh, dated black dudes. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, that's some... I forget who's fucking... Co who, whose routine that is. It's Wanda Sykes? It's Wanda, says Deirdre. That makes, that makes sense. I can hear that now. Yeah, white people are watching. What are you doing? Mm. <laughs> Shit's real. Shit's real. White people are looking at you. <laughs> uh, or Tolkien. <laughs> yeah. No, that's that's just how it works. That's just how it works. So, yeah. Should should the entire Legibita be responsible and have to answer for Ezra Miller's trans transgressions? Nope. Will we have to? Yep. That's just the reality of the situation. Oh yeah, Wanda's. I I enjoy Wanda. She's she's fucking dude. I I, I still think if you're gonna do the stupid state bullshit and all these fuck, it's her routine about uh, how we should elect people is brilliant. Um, she's no one should run for anything. She's like you should just be you should just by jury duty you should get a notice in the mail one month. And you just open it up at the uh, you be uh, you go out you get your fucking letter out of the uh, the post uh, out of the mailbox you open it up and you go oh shit I'm Secretary of State should be like that there should be no aspiration or ambition attached to it whatsoever there, it shouldn't be a thing that you can even head towards it should just be a thing that happens. So, yeah. Why is this? Oh, it's because I toggled that. Election by lottery. I'm for it. I, you know, you can stratify a lottery. You can, you can mathematically stratify a lottery system. So that you you have um, equal representation throughout the population uh, of the population, you can you can actually do that. Um, I'm not one of those people. I can't explain that the, how that math works, but there's a mechanism to do it. Um, there is a way to actually ensure that you can have a vote system that is representative of your population. So, just do that. Just fucking. Oh shit, I'm Secretary of State. I'm for it. I'm for it. So just get all of that ambition out. People are way too ambitious. <clears throat> People are way too ambitious. Oh, let's see. All right, it's like 1 a.m. I want to get, um... I suppose, we'll see. Related. Have you watched Gina Yashir yet? She's like Sykes on steroids. Oh, um, she's the she's British, right? Um <laughs> uh, 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 uh. 
non-binary. Wait around long enough and you'll find out. Um, yeah, from Peckham, I think. Yeah. No, I know. I know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, she came on my radar a while ago. Um, piercings. Have you said black woman? British as British gets. Yeah. Hmm. How new is this? She dropped some weight. This is not the one. Uh, not the. This is not the Hollywood look. This is not. Eh, still. There's two looks for black women in Hollywood. You either look like Halle Berry. Looking good, girl. Or precious. And there's no. There's no sliding scale. I used to get sent for the most ridiculous auditions when I was in the Oh, Hollywood. yeah, I've this seen this. I've seen this routine. Yeah, I know this routine. This is, as soon as I saw the title, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the American versus British racism. Yeah. Uh, she's got, um, she leans in on her emphasis. Um, she punctuates the end of her, uh, of her, of her bits of her delivery with, um, the same sort of upward inflection that Valley girl. Oh my God. What are you going to? Are we going to shop? Are we going shopping? I'll go get the car. She adds an upward inflection at the end of her, um, at the end of her delivery. Only hers isn't a, a weird, like, just, like, curved pitch up. It's a, it's a spike. She, huh, like, she hits it, almost like a rapper. It's, it's very akin to the same sort of, um, like, delivery that is familiar within hip-hop and rap. It's, it's got that sort of beat and hit to it. Almost like a snare. Um, <laughs> staccato. Yeah, it's, 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 she's, she's got the, the, it's melodic despite not being melodic. It's, it's a really, she's got an interesting delivery style. Yeah. That's why I think she'll stick. I think, I think she's got fucking legs because she's the kind of thing that like, once you hear her, you hear her. Yeah. She gets you pretty quickly. Um, all right. Oh, I know this is going to chase off like everybody. It always does. But <clears throat> caboose getting voice at, voice chat. We're doing this. Um, we're going to shoot Nazis, everyone. Fucking, we're we're gonna we're gonna stab some Nazis. We're gonna stab a Nazi. Stab a Nazi. Um, we're gonna do. We're gonna stab some Nazis. We're gonna shoot some Nazis. We're gonna blow up some Nazis. This would be great. Um, let me get to where I need to be, and we may have to modify some settings in game. We'll see how this all works out. Yes. Zippy, it's only because I don't try hard enough. <laughs> We're playing Sniper Elite 5. Fuck off. <laughs> uh, let's see. There we go. Change that. I believe so, Karina. All right. Let's move things where things need to be first. That way. Yes. Unfortunately, Karina, it's going to take you a very long time to download. <laughs> uh, Took me like fucking two hours to download, I think. Oh yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a while. For sure, Karina. 
But you can start the download now, and the next time it gets played, you can join. There we go. Yeah, if anybody has Game Pass, Sniper Elite 5 is just on it. Night, Deirdre. <laughs> Katrina. Oh. Tape. All right. Fucking. How long until we get to kill KKK people in video games? There's got to be a game that we do that, all right? You can do that in Red Dead. There you go. Yeah, you can disrupt that clan meeting, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um... <laughs> all right. I'm going to need fucking. All right. First off. Oh, no. It literally has to be that way. All right. So let's do this. Then this. And we'll figure out. Uh, if, should I install EAC? I, I did. I, I, I don't know if like it's going to be, you know, requisite or something. Um. You know what? It's already kind of. So let's just. Let's take it down. Just make sure. All right. All right. Uh, host co op. Select mission. Bam. All right. I don't know where my. Where the window's going to be. So. We're leaving it there for this this moment. Um, let's see. How do I? Is that actually like that's okay? So that doesn't. Shouldn't there be like a thing there? Or can I just invite you from here? restarting this anyway um okay yeah no that's weird well, that took forever to fucking load up jesus all right private invite from here got it you're young though right yes yeah just wanted to send the advice. I had a moment of doubt. So it's like. Ugh. It never hurts to ask. Katrina, um, Sniper Ghost Warrior contract is modern-ish. It's, it's actually slightly futuristic. So Sniper Ghost Warrior contract could be the one you're thinking of. Did you get the invite? I did, but now I'm doing this adjusting settings thing. Ah. Yeah. Gotcha, Katrina. Yeah, and uh, Sniper Ghost Warrior Contract 2 is out as well. So, um, wait, am I going through? Come on, just skip, please. Space. Okay. Space skips. My internet at home had trouble the other day for like 20 minutes. I called my SB and th threatened him to leave. Got my bandwidth double. Competition is nice. <sighs> All right, now you're in. We'll start on the first level. All um, right. I don't mind redoing it. 
Um, all right. I think we're good. Let me just check this really quickly. Yeah, these are customized. Cool. All right. Hello. Look at that. Oh. All right. Time to kill some Nazis. Yeah. Yeah, we are Carl uh Carl Fab Fairborn Fairborn Carl. Carl. How I love knowing my enemies are ostensibly evil and there is nothing I can do to them that is unjustified. <laughs> Captain says we'll be surfacing in five. Clear on your orders? We wait for air cover from our boys in the RAF. And once they start their raid, we use the distraction break on the beach. Your team destroys the coastal defenses to the west. I neutralize the defenses here, then proceed inland to rendezvous with Blue Viper at the safe house in town. As quietly as possible. I don't want to come back to the beach and find the place crawling with Germans. If they spot the sub before you blow those guns, me and my team will be stuck here. Yeah, sure, stuck. I can do quiet. You'd better. Go fuck yourself. Tell us how to do our jobs. You're a fucking, you're, you're a over a over inflated ego fucking taxi driver. All right, that's our cue. <laughs> okay, Fairburn. So are, are we gonna both lights. be the same guy, or am I, I like you can a, do. a partner or something? Don't know. We are so what do you see right now? I am a woman. Okay, I don't see you on my no screen. Problem. Should scout the shoreline. With the I'm on the other end of the boat. Spot my targets. Okay, I can see you now. I see your blue dot running around. All right. Um, all right, so targeting and let's tag some fucking lights. Wait, where's the other one? There's the other one. Okay. Why is there a delay on my fucking scope? Well, that's going to fucking murder me. I like a really snappy fucking scope. For some reason, my scope is not snappy anymore. I'll get my men ready. You secure the beach and we'll follow when everything's clear. My scope's pretty snappy. All right. See you on the other side, Sullivan. Mm. Safe for the Rangers. Better get to it. Eee. Going to have to go prone to get Is ahead. something else I need to deal with here? Monica. Alright. Should so, be able to climb yeah, way up there. Get a good vantage point down on the beach. I am hearing an echo through your uh, microphone. Oh yeah, I have to keep you're gonna have fucking hear All right. Yeah. Um I got no choice when I can deal with it. Hang on. I suppose there is a way for me. Okay. First off, is there anything in the middle of the screen there that needs to be okay. First off, let me do a couple of things here. Shrink me a little bit, fucking put me down there. And let's lock that off so I don't see that fucking nightmare of a thing. There we go. All right. Now, also, let's drop this down a little bit just, just to make it a little fucking... There we go. Oh, that's medium? Dear sweet. Oh, no, no. Okay, it's coming in to re-rendering. Interesting. All right. Feels a little better, though. Oh, that's better. Yeah, no, that's fucking. It was literally a fucking delay in rend uh, like rendering. Can't give away my position. Yeah, yeah, we are. Um, first one's coming right up. 
So if you are the schadenfreude type, well, countdown in three, two, one, stab Nazis, stab Nazis. part of a patrol. Should keep to the shadows. Loot Nazis, loot Nazis. And let's get this fucker into the weeds so nobody calls us out for it. There we go. Beckendorf hatte die richtige Idee. Geben Sie ihm verdammt noch mal was, worüber Sie sauer sein können. The Nazi loot, exactly. Up, up. This is basically just a battlefield campaign, but done better. Yeah, basically. Oh wait, is this? No, this was the bottles. I was like, I thought I might have missed a workbench this early, but no. Is that an officer? That's an officer. Do we get special points for officers? Stab an officer. Stab an officer. They usually have. Oh, yep. Yeah, we just found the boathouse key. That's fucking. They usually have shit on them, like keys and papers and stuff like that. Oh, you could booby trap the bodies. Yes. Yes, you can 100% attach grenades to bodies in this game. Military papers. Should have a look, see what's going on here. According to this, the SS captured a resistance cell in the town last week. It must be Blue Viper's network. Does this armband mean I'm Polish? Subsonic ammo? Nazis must have found it and put this to good use. Keep my shots quiet. Oh, hey now. Oh, oh, thank God we don't crowd each other. I hate games to do that. And I could, I could actually do it. I got a suppressed SMG. With subsonic ammo, I heard. Oh, that's for the rifle. Oh. Got to secure my contact. Can't just leave them to die if they've been captured. Yeah, you're right. That'd be terrible. Stab oh, snapping Nazis next. You got the other guy? Uh, am I allowed to shoot? Oh, no, it's or super. Or do you want me to sneak up on Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for right now, we're in stealth mode. Like, okay. Yeah, because your rifle by default is super loud. Alrighty. What's the button to sneak kill? Just E, e or something? E. Alright. Like it always is. Breaking knots. That was a nice, nice meaty crunch. Alright. Couple Nazis down. Nothing wrong with that. Always a good time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can booby trap the cars too. Yeah. Not sure why I never got into this game. I usually love sniper games. All right. Just doing the loot run. Okay, there's. Let's see. A couple of routes here, actually. Rifle. Missing a scope. Still useful.
That betrayals, Hans. <laughs> Can you hear what my character says? No. That'll she says no scope, resistance. no problem, don't need one. Got to get Atta past girl. these Nazis and get inside. All right. Um. Oh, I remember how I did this. Fucking. Oh fuck! Wrong button. Eh. All right. Can you take the one on the right and? Yeah. All right. Let's just take a beat here. Those two should be and three, two. One, shoot. Mm, I think I pulled that shot. Yeah, I messed that one up too. No, not the first one. Uh, the oh. one when he was fleeing. No, I got him. Looks like. Yeah, it's clear. He was running. I wasn't Long sure if I, yank I yanked the shot or not. Place to hide. Yeah, no, got him on the fly. No, I don't. I don't want your stupid fucking rifle. I no. saw. Uh, there's active reload too, by the way. Uh, for at least some of the guns. Let's see. All right. Could have blown that up. Is there anything over here? Nope. Nope. There's a lot of collectibles and shit. It's a lot of collectibles. Got to get in there before it's too late. What's up, Blue? That's our girl, Charlie? Blue Viper. Thanks. I just needed a distraction. Yeah, the weather in Ostend is better this time of year. <laughs> but France has better food. Vid. You're my contact. You're the desert ghost. <laughs> I should have known. Good to see you, Blue Viper. Yeah, Leo chose that code name, not me. But they found us anyway, in spite of all the codes. Betrayed? Maybe. I think so. I can't be sure. I'm a laugh non-binary if that actress is actually like native My Scots. God. They killed the whole <laughs> town. Everyone. Great. All thanks to a bastard named Muller. They split us up. Some of my men might still be alive. Somewhere in this place. We have to. I'll find them. You're in no shape to fight. Where can we meet? All right, you win. Now, the safe house is blown. There's a farmhouse just north of the town. I'll find it. Uh, one more thing. One of my men, Marcel, he hid information in a loose panel under his bed. The key for it was sewn into the hem of his trousers. Oh, they poor may Marcel. not have found him yet. <laughs> Look for the house with the yellow brickwork. Ugliest thing in the village. You can't miss it. Got it. I like you. It is good to see you again. <laughs> you too, old friend. As you should with a Nazi. Proper yeah. Nazi etiquette. Not much more to go now. Target's nearly in sight. Just okay. what I need. Okay. Can hear voices through those walls. Should focus. Get an idea of their position. If you hold left alt. I got the. Yeah. I'm getting the tutorial prompts. Basically gives you X-ray vision. Stab the Nazis in the throat. This would be a good place to check my weapons before hitting the field. Stock up on supplies. It's a workbench over there if you wanna check it out. Adding this to the list of things I need to take care of here. Yeah. Nice. Go the fuck away, tutorial. <laughs> X, 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 X. I'm here for.
for Nazis being spray painted on the wall. Yeah, there's gonna be um, there's gonna be some motherfuckers dying. In its ultra mode, game's really pretty. I will add that. It's, it's 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 okay in medium. Like this is fine. Just running OBS and everything on top of it just makes it untenable. But um, yeah, like on ultra settings, this game's actually kind of pretty. Nothing revolutionary, but pretty nonetheless. Especially when you get the X-ray view of the Nazi brain go boot, go splatter on the wall. I know how goddamn weapon customization works. Go the fuck away. We'll do cupcake. I get it, man. They've destroyed our boat. Yeah. Which, I mean, we were just going to blow something up and then take the boat out. But now we're just sort of stranded here, so now we just get to, like, blow up everything. That's just sort of like, well, we've got nothing Nazi else to do bastards. now. Our ride home is gone. So, I guess we just get to kill more Nazis. That radar tower is still operational. It's a shame about that. Yeah. So, basically, that kind of introduces you There's the radar. to the f first like the concept here. There's the sound cover in this game. So, the vehicles can be rigged to provide... You can sabotage the engine so they backfire and they provide... Um, generators can be sabotaged so they fucking pop and sputter. But occasionally on this level, there's artillery guns. And they fire regularly. And you'll get a little uh, sound uh, readout, a little, little wave at the top. You'll get the line first... And you'll see, you'll see the line pop up, and that means sound is incoming. And then it'll spike, and the sound goes off. And in that window, you can fire an unsubsonic, unsuppressed round on this, uh, on this level, and no one will know where it came from. Oh. Because it's covered by the art artillery, or the backfiring engine, or the, th uh, or the, uh, the generator that's out of balance. So in this game, for the most part, you, you can get subsonic and suppressed and that sort of stuff. But for the early game, what you really are are do it building skills of patience. You're, you're, you're learning to just take your shots when you can take your shots. And that may mean you have to wait a few minutes to find your shot. Now that's some clever game design. Um... Also, for like, if you're down your scope for a while, snipers see the glint of scopes. So, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They hear you. They see you. They share information just like we share information. So if like I tag, you sh it should tag on your screen. If you tag, it tags on my screen. So the tags are not unlimited. They will eventually... I mean, oh, they just wear out? Yeah, they'll just wear out. Okay, I thought you meant, like, I can only do so many tags per round or something. Which would be kind of an annoying mechanic. Uh, well, I mean, in the higher difficulties, the tags go away entirely. The HUD goes away entirely. Um, yeah. There's, like, full bullet mapping, realistic physics... 
Um, you count your ammo, you, you count your round shots, you figure it out. If you drop if you do a reload when you're not at zero, you waste ammo. Oh God, they're getting, they're going that far, huh? Yeah. Okay. Um, if you sneak around to the right, you can get to that back guy. You can get across the field probably, or do you want to try and I think, so. I, okay. think I can get across the field. Okay. If things go horribly wrong. Ah, shit, he's facing my direction. You just wait. You just wait. I see him. He's going by, and I'm clear. Cool. Personal property and private property are not the same thing, Stray Origin. Just because you don't understand the difference between them doesn't mean we have to fucking deal with it. What you're talking about is personal property, not private property. Killing the Nazis. I'm going to go in for the kill. Go for it. Nice. There you go. This really is a game of patience. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got some vehicle incoming. He's going to notice the body, and then some shit's about to happen. Oh, boy. Oh, shit. Oh, there's a whole caravan. Fuck. He's dead. And this guy doesn't know what, where, what direction to look. The element of fear and surprise. We're clear. Thank God it was just those two. Guess I grabbed everything useful. Okay. Um, we don't need it either way. I'm just going to um, sabotage the truck and sabotage the, the bike just so you know what the deal is. Okay, you see the thing on the top of your screen oh, now? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Watch out. Somebody noticed us. Oh, shit. Got him. That's a cool animation. Just back up. Just back up. Just back up. We don't belong here. Oh shit, okay, backing up. You'll notice on your mini map, there's like a triangle. Yeah. The red triangle. That's where, yes. that's where they saw you last. Okay, so get out of there then. If there's a, a, a yellow triangle, that's where they heard you last. Oh, okay. The motorcycle just blew up. And so you see that heat map on your 
Yes. Okay, that's where they're general searching. And now they're hunting because they've lost you. Got some perfect good grass here. Got a nice outline going. Now we just wait for this idiot to walk back. Or he's searching the road. Either way, don't care. Destroy the pillars. Oh shit, he's coming back. Oh, there he is. See him. It does spot for you. Hmm? He's dead. Headshot with an SMG. was a very fucking quiet SMG. I know it's it's suppressed. It's silenced or suppressed, but uh I may be running subsonics too. Oh, this is a bit of a all right, I'm I'm gonna pull back. Alright. Yeah, I'm gonna go over here. And I'm gonna do that. Alright. Be there. There's the sniper. Can they spot binoculars too? Uh, I have no idea. I don't know for sure. Okay. What are we? Uh, 136. Let's start up at 100. I see three guys so far. Just. Oh, come on. Ah. Stop. Stop. Oh, you fuck. Oh, cool. It even gives you some info on the weapons they're using. Uh, yeah. Tells you their name and some shit about them, too. Oh, how'd that not kill him? There we go. Sniper's down. And they are not alerted. Nope. Subsonic rounds. Well, someone's investigating, though, but... Oh, there they go. Now they're alerted. Yeah, they found the body, or they noticed the body. Want me to try and take out the uh, searchlight guy? Oh, wait, you got him. Subsonic. Mm. In hindsight, that might have been a bad idea. So there's some over there. There's some over there. So we've got a full front, actually. Sorry. It's okay. Dude, I fucked up last night. Dude, my first run through, there's the officer. I he's carrying something. Am I sighted at eight? There we go. Hey, I got a tag assist.
shit, you got an enemy behind you. Yeah, I got an enemy all over. It's okay. I'm used ah, to- Ah shit, I got spotted. Alright. Yeah. Getting into cover! Ow! Oh, that's a bad choice. I am a sniper out in the- Oh shit, that's a bad choice. Holy fuck. I need cover. Ah, oh, good. Nice to know even this game still suffers from bad clipping. Alright. Who else needs to die? It's a good spot. I did not see you there, motherfucker. Can't find anything else. What the fuck? Where did you... Somebody was mentioning they spawn enemies. That this isn't a static map like that. That's kind of bullshit. Yeah, like, and I just, like, last night I had a couple pop-ins that I was questioning. To put it the very least. I see you trying to creep up on me. <sighs> Done. All right. Now. <laughs> yes, just keep shooting that way. What the fuck? <sighs> they can see right through textures. They can see right through textures. 100%. I'm surprised they uh, didn't account for that. That's usually an easy thing to do in games. If I plant explosives on the radar's pillars, I should be able to bring it down. Maybe I can find some in the German ammo crates. That was like some legit war shit right there. I just cr yeah. crawled through that fucking muck to fuck crest a fucking to pile of god knows what to fucking s spray a kraut with some fucking <laughs> machine gun fire. There we go. Now Lord we got cover. Hell. For at least a minute. So if you need to shoot, shoot. Well, I'm kind of trapped if I don't kill these two guys, so... Yeah, I see that. I see that over there. Whoa, it just showed me yours. He's disarmed. He yeah, he's a sitting duck. He's going to take cover now. Oh, 
You could literally charge him, probably. Where the fuck did he go? Oh! No, he's dead! Fair enough. I mean, I'm not gonna complain about that. I'm going to go in the trench. Hey, subsonic pistol rounds. There you go. Trench networks connected to the radar control bunker. That's one way in. Bunker's being cracked. Oh, no. That's on me. Can I get away from that? No, you're fine. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, for this moment, you're fine, but... Um, there we go. Yeah, don't don't be in here. Oh, out. looks like someone's about to go ch check out the door. More like the door. Check them out. Yeah, let's see. There's some extra guys up here. Yeah, fuck it. We'll go through the facility and up the other side. All right. Generators, I can disable the radar. I should search this body. Think I've grabbed all I can. Okay, we need to find a safe before we leave this place. I need a tool to get into the generator. Maybe I can find a crowbar nearby. Now we're looking for a crowbar, too. Found the safe. Uh, should I plant a satchel charge? No, I, I have the code. Okay. Anti-air defenses. There we go. I should pay these. Not a crowbar. There we go. You can fuck this place up. I think there's two crowbars. Something else I need to from this way. Well, that was the glitch you sent him. Oh, fuck. Ooh, yeah. Oh, I'm dead. Hold on. Quit on me! Alright, hang on. It's getting cold, Kai! Oh. There we go. Some town cover over here, too. Here's where you come into play. Cool bar. Oh, you already did it. Cool. Yeah. Alright. Um, then let's see, we have those three, we could, all right, circuit breaker, circuit breakers out back, you leave the bunker, um, there we go, and there it is. 
Night, Tippy. It's just an expensive hunk of scrap metal. There we are. That should keep our boys on the bombing runs. All right. So the last thing we want to do is take out the um, actual gun emplacement. Um. So let's see. <clears throat> David, no pause. Let's go straight down. You see that fucking vantage point at the bottom? Um. I just marked it on our. Uh, I don't know if fucking my waypoint gets shared on your waypoint, but. It. Uh, oh yeah, I see it. Okay, that's that's where we're headed. That vantage point will give us a whole bunch of fucking extra objectives. All right. Or at least it theoretically should. Oh, apparently uh, there's an overexertion mechanic. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and that affects your, um, your marksmanship. That's, um, have you been hitting, okay, so when you're sighted in, hit space. He'll hold his breath. Oh. Yeah. I've been holding shift because usually it's shift in the other games. Nope, space. I wonder. Okay. All right, there's going to be a dude up here. And this time I'm going to be fucking ready for him. Or not this one. It's up next to on um, the next corner. this place. Fuck it. Bam. All right. Got you this time, bitch. Now this next guy. Another ghost ribbon. Love my ghost ribbons. Okay. Now. Oops. There we go. New objective. Bam. Now we just walk our asses up and down this coastline. Blowing, killing Nazis and blowing shit up where we go. All right. It's just, uh, there's plenty of fucking Nazis down there. So I'm just going to like, I don't know, spend a minute fucking sighting. Jesus. Uh, 249, I could reach out and touch you. Now.
This guy's carrying something. Just looking for dudes to tag, because I'm going to rile a couple of these fuckers. I've been wondering that. I just shot a bird. <laughs> I had to. I've been wondering that for a while. I'm like, can I shoot the seagulls? Did it do anything? It disintegrated a seagull. Sounds about right. What's up, Caleb? Nope, that's just a wooden post. We're killing Nazis. That was for science, Wither. It was for science. It had to be done. It's like jumping off a cliff. Gotcha. Helmet. That should rile that dude. Ooh, wait, hang on. There we go. Put one near his head to fucking get his attention, and then put one through his neck when he uh, stops. Alright. If you want to push, we can push. I suppose so, because I can't really see the You want to use the zip line? Oh, shit, that's right. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Oh, There we go. Those pigeons could be heard saying coo coo. All right, you motherfucker. Yeah, it's worth a shot. I'll get him later. <laughs> There's better angles. What we got? No usable items. No usable items. All right. Well, then let's just blow some shit up. You ready? Yep. Get the fuck out. Boom. Yes, pun. Cool. <laughs> yes. Yes, Nanashi, you're very punny. All right. That's one of those down. There's another one to our right. And we just keep pushing. Carl and Monica just fucking wreak havoc on Nazis for, well, stranding us here. I mean, I can think of worse things the Nazis have done, but that's also a good reason to kill them. 
You take left, I'll take right. Go, 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 go. He's dead. <laughs> Sorry, he spotted me. It's okay. My guy turned around just in time to fucking see me, but I stabbed him in the gut. I looked him in the eyes and this took his life. Useful. I want him to know who did it. Alright. Oh, if you happen to spot some really god awful ugly eagle statues on top of buildings, or like bird statues, I don't know, falcon or some shit, right? Perched way up high, usually. I mean, what are the fuck that like Nazi eagle shit is? Usually, yeah. Uh, we're shooting those too. I tried to spot the statue like five fucking times before I realized it was a statue. <laughs> Uh, it's Windows watermark on the uh, corner of your screen. It's annoying as fuck. Yes, Wither. It means you have incorrectly pirated software. Okay, I see you, motherfucker. Keep on the wall. Behind the wall. There. Two tags. Questions are there any more? Just beyond. There's an alarm down there, too. I take it that's bad. It makes our life very miserable, yes. Is it possible to disable the alarm? It's possible to sabotage it and disable it. Interesting. One down. I got one more coming. <laughs> yeah, Wither, it's nice. It's a nice little, no nice little thing. Here. Okay, now. Yep, our target's on the move. All right, hang on. Careful, careful, careful. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just gonna straight up fucking blow him up, huh? Yep. There's a uh, there's a bonus for blowing them up. Oh, inglorious bastard style, eh? Yep. Bam, bitch. <laughs> you Nothing. just he just that something. that fucking that fucking Nazi just helped me make staff sergeant uh, <laughs> staff sergeant. So fucking. Well, damn. Maybe the Nazis are good for something after all. All right. I think that car is gonna blow up one more time. So don't be too close. Oh shit. Yeah. Well, I looted pretty much everything worth looting. Good. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, Good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um. Okay. So, fucking, that's that dude. Oh, and I want to use my skill point. Hang on. Uh, is this extra health oh. segment or these are all twos? Have you gotten any skills yet? Uh, looks like I might have one. Mm, might as well use it. Um. Fuck it. Time to use it. Bam. It's a horrible level up system. So here, we'll do the responsible video game person thing, right? Here's the, here's the skill tree, as it were, right? It's three circles. You go in. You have to you have to do the first one, and then it tear uh, it tears out. Right, like fucking. Here's the second one. Try this, you know that sort of thing. Here's the equipment, fucking, and then that, and then this. I don't like it. 
It's fucking lame. And also, the skills need better upgrading. Like, there needs to be better upgrades. They're kind of, yeah. No, you cannot drive the vehicles with her. I am a lone sniper who happens to have a partner. <sighs> fucking. We, we hoof Polish it. Polish woman was a bad accent. Yeah, we hoof it. Shit, I got spotted. Who? Well, actually, never mind. I didn't get spotted, but I got almost spotted. Okay. Oh, God, I just got noticed. Oh, shit. Well, so much for carrying that body. <laughs> Ow. They're gonna... I see you. I see you, motherfucker. What are you gonna do? Yes. Perfect. Seriously? I can't hop there? There we go. What? What? Why? Yeah, I just got randomly spotted despite being undercover too. There we go. Oh Jesus. Yeah, die already. He was a resilient Nazi. Why why Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's why. God, that was a stupid fucking mechanic. This will come in very useful. All right. Here's um, not Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed isn't Assassin's Creed. Oh wait, no, that's not how to do this. Hang on. Uh, method. There we go. We're here, and then. It's back here, isn't it? Yes. Here it is. Aren't these the Russian Orthodox Church or crosses? Probably. There we go. Hey, I found a crowbar. Oh, um, in the garage next door. Yeah. Go. Cool. Do a note. I'll grab it. There we go. Unfortunately, Marcel is dead. That's the way it goes. Oop, nope. Right. Dismantle. Down I go. In. Here we go. Watch out. There we go. Unlocking. Prob probably, sir. Okay. Um, How do you get up in the attic? Oh, you climb from outside. Oh. Yeah, that's you, you climb from out back. This will help. Yeah, there's the vines on the back wall. And you climb up over and fucking ride the rail. It's already done. Oh, there's nothing for me to grab? It's how you get the key. Okay. Let go of the goddamn vines. Alright, so. Oh, and the gun, uh, the, the birds flapping away like that will give away your position, too. Uh, oh, shit. Jeez. Um, okay, so we need to destroy more defenses before we leave this area. There's one up here. It's in a building like right here. Yeah, I forget how to get to it, though. You gotta come down through the middle or some shit. Hmm. 
Hmm. Alright, where is it? Alright, it's this one, right? There we go. Yeah, this is just a ladder climb one. So that's why Kai kills and birds. They work for the Nazis. I'm mean, just saying. All right. Yeah, you're not gonna want to climb this because <laughs> yeah, getting 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 down is a pain in the ass. There we go. All right, plenty of time on that long fuse though. We're going left actually. So. Oh, okay. Opportunity, maybe. Nazi gun, go boom. All right. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. What am I? Jesus, 300 out right now. It's gonna go around that corner, huh? All right, I'm waiting. Goes around the corner. He circles back. If you want, um, I bet we could multitask this. There's a fucking bunker right up the street. Or we can just both take pot shots at this dude and just ensure we get him. <laughs> it's just an additional XP. There he comes. Here he comes. Let's see. Can I? Nope. Not on that one. Uh, come on. Fuck you. Bastard. you well at least now they're gonna come closer yeah Oh, I can't. Oh, there we go. Damn, I'm getting shot the fuck up. Why are these not exploding? Jesus Christ. There we go. Got it. He's going to go up in a second. At least he should. Shit, we got enemies behind us. There we go. Self apply. You are on fire, my man. Blow up. Another one. Oh, fuck. Surprisingly resilient boat. Yeah, it should have blown up by now. Like, it, it for real should have blown up by now. Yeah, I'm gonna need an assist here, or else we're gonna restart. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeah, they're a little angry at me. Like, I don't know why it's not blown up, though. Both of those fucking tanks should have caused it to blow up. Like, either of them should have caused it to blow up. There we go. 
What the? No reload cycle? Oh, that took a while. Go fuck yourself. Cost me a fucking med kit and a bunch of bandages, but you know what? Fuck you. Jesus. How do I use my med kit? Uh, Q, make sure it's selected. Hold hold Q. Make sure on the radio menu you have a fucking bandage or a med kit selected, and then use F to f hold F to use it. Yeah, dude, that, that, I guess, maybe increased difficulty. That's because I spiked the difficulty a little bit. But normally, like, that thing should have fucking blown up far, far before that. All right. Alrighty, I am now full health. Rifle. Oh, oh, no oh. scope. Keeps things interesting. All right, so just need to go up here. All right, fair enough. The fuck? I was in Wait, the what? bunker. Wait, where the fuck are you? I'm in the bunker. And they threw an explosive and it somehow penetrated the wall of the bunker. Can't switch shoulders, can't kill this guy. Yeah. Can't move? No, you literally just are locked into this position. Yeah, I... Uh, how the fuck did you get up there so fucking fast? I mean, just easily. Ah, shit. Easily. <laughs> yeah, something fucking... It, it went right through the wall of the bunker. Great German fucking construction, I guess. Didn't they used to build bunkers well? Well, at least a checkpoint us right after the, the uh, death of the fucking boat. Um, 100%. I'm going to grenade this fucking bunker. Oh, that's how you got ahead of me. When I went the wrong direction. See if that gets her fucking attention this time. Shit, just got spotted. What about it? It's all clear now. Um, I'm just gonna grab some bandages here off some of these guys, some grenades, refill some of my shit. are down. Alrighty. Uh, just gonna do this. Can I? You tell me I can't. 
Elite fucking commando. Can't get past barbed wire, huh? Apparently an earthquake has hit That's Afghanistan in hundreds. <laughs> that number is going to rise. The defense is a ship. Uh, many are dead. Let's just put it that well, way. Well, fuck. All right. That's some four horsemen shit. Later, sir, gang. Take care of yourself. Um, okay, so we have... I'm going to hunker down here right by the cemetery really quickly. Um, so the last thing we want to do is take out the artillery gun. Because it does provide us cover if we need sound cover. Um, that wither, that actually isn't. That's just fucking living on planet Earth. Yeah, I don't think the climate really affects uh, earthquakes much. Although I bet temperature in a region could. Right? Like maybe. We're maybe. Um, when it causes a significant enough gradient to cause a slight tectonic shift... I, that's that's my hypothesis uh, hypothesis in this uh, situation or in this scenario. Fucking right, like the expansion on you know a, a piece of metal or a rock or concrete, right? Desert to winter is can be inches, right? Over the course of true over the course of an entire region, and, you know maybe. All right. Now, we're doing the Lord's work here. Hazard scale increases, generally. Yeah, fucking. Um, Although, speaking of weird weather phenomenon, it just went from 60 to 65 in like the last minute. That is weird. I'll show you, you know what? Hang on. All right, I'm going to do this this way. I'm going to open my door and see fucking what's going on outside. <sighs> That was a big hit of new weed. Oh, we might be in trouble here. <coughs> All right, you was. That's a bad out. Not a bad out. <coughs> oh. That stuff gonna get distracting? No, I just might think I'm really killing Nazis. <coughs> All right. According to U.S. Geological Survey, the only correlation that's noted between earthquakes and weather is that large changes in atmospheric pressure caused by major storms like hurricanes have been shown to occasionally trigger what is known as slow earthquakes. So, <clears throat> theoretically, maybe. <coughs> All right. So now we do the uh, the ant uh, the AA guns. All righty. <clears throat> so, what do you think of the game so far? It's not bad. Um, it is not beginner friendly. No, you, sir. No, it's, it's, I mean, it's a, it's a hardcore sniper game, right? Yeah. Like that's, yeah. And you replay these missions, you replay these missions and you get to the point where like, I don't know if I can show you on my, yeah, I can't get to, um, <laughs> my service record. Uh, wait, maybe. No, I can't get to my service record from here. But, yeah, you start racking up ribbons and fucking shit like that for, you know, going completely fucking ghost sniper fucking shit. But, yeah. Yeah, eventually you just start cranking the diff The difficulty is completely customizable, like, for, like, you know, different things. So you can, like, you can have really hard enemies, but you can have all of your HUD and your tags and stuff like that. Or you could just go fucking purist. Full physics modeling, windage, fucking, uh, fucking windage, drop it, uh, yardage and droppage. Fucking, you gotta uh, sight your scope. Fucking no HUD whatsoever. No fucking, you know, all that sort of stuff. Like, you can just go for it. Ugh. And eventually you get to the point where, like, you get, like, your loadout. Like, right now, my default SMG is suppressed, right? So, like, regular ammo works for me in the SMG and doesn't draw attention. Eventually you get to the point where you got a fucking suppressed rifle, too. And you're just like, fuck these guys. And only the yellow-topped grass, like only the magical grass, covers you. No other foliage covers you. 
This is the magic grass. Yeah, I hate that. I guess I can kind of see why, but still. I just think concealment is concealment. Yes. No HUD gamers are elite cosmetically and skill-wise. No, it's it's a whole thing. I got an intestine shot. Search your kill. Nothing else to find. Well. All right. Oh, it's over here. Different path. And not all the levels are like like this. Some of them, some of them, you know, <clears throat> dockyards and shipyards and shit like that. I don't know what's on the the plate for fucking this Sniper Elite game. Um, but yeah, for sure. Like previous iterations, there's like dockyards where you're just like you know climbing on tops of roofs and fucking shit like that. You just Doing, doing the sniper work. Really? This is Carl Schmidt, everyone. He spiked Emmerich's beer last night because he hates his guts. He's kind of a douchebag. I mean, he fucking doped his own, like, spiked. I mean, what does that even mean? What did he fucking spike it with? Right? Okay, I'm on subsonic. Just want to make sure. I can't spot the yes, this one guy for some reason. That must be the gun. He had it coming. Had that dude, a hundred percent, had it coming. Got to destroy it. Oh, well. I don't think I do know, man. All right. There's somebody else around here somewhere. That's a big ass searchlight. There oh, it shit. is. There it is. I was wondering where this asshole was. Find anything else? Yeah, that's. I mean, that's legitimately. That's sort of a small one. They make them really? even. Yeah, they make them even bigger. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, some of those things get like intense. Yeah, think of the bat signal. That's a searchlight. Well, I knew that, but now it's about the size of the bat signal, at least the most iterations I've seen. Yeah, like that's, that's, I mean, that's, it's a searchlight. Magic grass, magic grass. It's always you in the grass. Fucking, all right. Let's see, you're over here. No. Officer. What's this fella got? Howdy duty, officer. There's going to be a bunch in the trenches, right? God damn it. Just die. It's just easier for me. There we go. Oh, missed that one. Something tells me this body is worth searching. Ooh. There's a safe somewhere. Battery safe code. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Ooh. Um, all right, that's what I meant to do. Ugh, got the holding, the holding. There we go. All right, so is there like Hold on, hold on, hold on. These are They have an AA gun opposite the position of the battery. Is 
this the battery? Which one's the fucking battery? Like, this is... Oh, fuck you. Wait, where's that coming from? God Behind damn. you. God damn it. I was in map. <clears throat> Thank you. You're welcome. Seriously? How? Not again? Yeah. I killed that motherfucker. There might be someone. Oh, there's somebody right on the other side of this. There you go. Oh, no, no. He's not down. Wait, can I? <laughs> Never mind. He's dead. Oh, cool. Like, wait a second. <laughs> Like, I'm pretty sure I can cap a motherfucker. What is it? Shit. Fuck. I got shot at. Sorry. Right, I can I can provide cover fire. Get behind cover and heal your dumb ass, Carl. Please and thank you. Now. Oh, I want to go boom boom. I'm gonna blow somebody up. Oh well. That was a clusterfuck. Alright, um. So, you grabbed the satchel, right? Blow it up. I did grab the satchel, yes. Blow it up. The big, wait. The big gun over there? Yeah. Alright, can I even make it? Uh, right down here. Right here. Oh, the big gun down here? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, I can blow this up. Yes. German, 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 German. All right, fuse is lit. Cool. Boom, de go. Interesting. Thank you, nobody. All right. Um. Oh, I remember this. Yeah, there's a biz. There could be a few here. Fucked up and dragged a bunch of them one time. Okay, so they're already alerted. Yes, that just happened. That, folks, <laughs> it was two headshots for one uh, for one bullet. I'm out here fucking making the war economical. Maximum efficiency. Yeah, I'm fucking. I'm I'm out here murking uh, murking uh, Nazis and fucking making it economical at the same time. Just saying, it's kind of ultimate capitalist. Yep, yeah, it's the kind of leadership you want. Vote for me, 2024. Fuck it, we're here. It's an objective. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so that's what I use that for. Right, who sees me and how? Where was that coming from? I believe the guy with the goggles is spotting us. Well, it's about to get it. It's about to get interesting. I'm lighting the fuse on this door, and 
<laughs> the military complex. Thanks you for your service. Have fun on the street. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Tina Skelly. But uh, I'm about to blow this door and just rile whatever Nazis are still here. All right. I think there's an officer over here, maybe. Now this guy's got something I want. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Door's open. The two guards by the door have not fucking fudged. Nice. Okay, so that just leaves the officer that I'm dealing with. Double denazified. Yep. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Pop. Hey there, Franz. Oh, that was the armory I key, I, I sup suppose. I could have... <laughs> You know, done that, but you know, I mean, I got to blow up a Nazi door and shoot a Nazi. Just saying. Win win. Yeah. Wait. God, this fucking glitchy as shit. Nazis getting railed by someone who wants a twink. Oh, uh, let's see. Is there anything else in here? Yeah, some mines. I wonder if I got XP for that. Uh, if you want some boom booms or some, like, an MG42, fuck, it looks like a heavy-duty gun. Um, fucking, I, I, I cracked the armory over here. Oh, is this where? Oh, he's going for the fucking alarm. Dead. Dead, bitch. Dead. Yes. Oh, come, come see this magnificence. This is amazing. Hold on a second, I just got like ganked three ways. Okay, so yeah, I saw you take that third guy. Sprinting, I'm in the fucking armory over here. Sprinting from over there, I fucking see the alarm bell above his head, and he's fucking sprinting for this thing, and I just step out with an SMG and just spray the whole area. <laughs> <laughs> just he was he was right there. He was right there uh, over here this building this No alarm for you. Yeah, oh, uh, there's some uh, there's some stuff in here Okay, so this was the pist pistol work bitch a, a silenced squirrel Ooh, MG 42 Unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to swap this stuff out. You just temporarily carry it It's fucking weird but you can pick it back up, though you can lose it. Just know that. I, I've i dropped it before. Like, I used a fucking heavy gun, and I walked it through a base, and I dropped it, like, the fifth time or something, and it just dematerialized. All right. Well, I mean, there's been a fair amount of fucking noise out here. You'd think, you know, if there were many... Oh, that's just Hans blowing off some steam. Yeah, I know, right? Like, I mean, you know, it's the battlefield. She gets confusing and weird and shit blows up and guns fire. Like, what are you going to do? You're going to fucking go running to every gunshot? Sometimes your friend just, you know, drops dead suddenly. War's hell. What can I say? Go for it, man. You got a fucking heavy gun? Fucking chew up a fucking Nazi if... Adding this to the list of things I need to take care of here. Here we go. Backing up. I'm guessing this is for invasion only when it says like the Yeah. The random player can just come in your Yes your game and fuck you up. Padlocked on the other side. Uh okay, crowbar. There's actually a couple of different ways to disable this thing. I um I put a grenade. I taped a grenade to a fucking one of the shells, and the shell gets loaded into the fucking chute and just goes off. Right right down near the powder keg. Yeah, there's a few solutions to that one. Huh. I like that. Seems like the the grenade one would be a little bit more permanent. Yes. Yes, I that's that's what struck me there. Um, so we're headed, yeah, down here. All right. Now we just got a couple of anti-aircraft guns to 
blow up and well then we can egress from this level sometimes your commander sneezes his brains onto a wall that is true Really? It's like, dude, you stand out here after all that? Okay, here, like, you just hope. Dude, you, you needed to go down. That was, dude, you were not. I just, I did you a kindness. Holy shit, man. I put it right through your fucking brain stem, man, and you were out like a fucking light. You were so oblivious. Like, the Nazis aren't sending their best. Yeah, like, homie, you were going to end up, like, in a gulag or some shit. I just did you the fucking kindest favor anybody in this war has ever done. <laughs> like, just, you should be, yeah, your mom should thank me. He's going to wander into, like, a secret meeting or something like that and get disappeared. Yeah, like, Jesus Christ, man. Fucking, dude, we blew up so much shit. We fucking shot so many dudes, and we ran right past your periphery, and you did nothing. Like, homie, this was this was for the best. Well, I've blown up two things now. You want to blow up this one? Yeah, sure. I don't blow no shit up. I don't, you know. All right, quick fuse. Eee. Where are we going? Alright, so up and behind. No more knots again. Is there a way to get? I bet there is. Ha! Alright. Through the orchard. Oh, there's a curious Nazi over here. Who's there? Uh, me. Oh, really? I'm not paying attention to my reload. That's on me. This is what it is. It's okay. I stabbed the fuck out of him. If there's one nice thing I have to say about the Nazis, they can make a damn good LMG. <laughs> nope, don't go in there. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. It's like, nope. It's not where you want to be. Who's there? What was your name on it? Huh? The oh, hey, yes. Fucking skill points. Fucking love to see it. Oh. Um. Oh, I wanted to chase. Yeah, there we go. Enemies are scope tagged when they damage you. You shoot me, I know exactly where you are. All right. Right. Fucking. I can now steal ammo. Nice. All right. That's not a route that we can take. It doesn't look like. <laughs> Dude, I'm fuck surprised it. I needed a skill point for that. That's it just seems like that'd be obvious. Oh my god, dude, I hate I hate some of this hedge maze maze shit they do. All right, so yeah, no, that is our fucking route out. It's just fucking gotta run down here to run over here. Jesus, the battlefield games were way worse about <sighs> that. Can I? I hate that shit. Fine, we'll do this manually. All right, there we go. Good grab. I love the little like cutscenes you get whenever you shoot someone. Oh, the X-rays. Yeah. yeah, those are great. Nothing else. All right. Seriously? Yeah, fine. Who's here? It's like a red spot here. It's like a heap. Huh. I don't see anyone. Who could be here? I don't know. Whatever. I have no idea. Is there like a secret underground thing here?
Yeah, like ideally it would just be up and over, but apparently we're not that special of a fucking special agent. Traversal, man. That's for games where you're selling me on the idea that I'm like an epic badass. Fucking, I gotta tell you. Take your shot, man. Go for it. Oh, shit. Like, we carved out a good chunk of this fucking map. Like, there's no. <laughs> Fucking. There's no one left to help you. Yeah, there's a few people, but I mean. Mm, he's a survivor. Yeah, jam. Hey, while playing the campaign in co-op, get three kill assists. Get a ribbon out here. This must be the farmhouse Charlie told me about. Hope she got here okay. Yeah, I didn't fucking spot any of the stupid eagles. Stomach shot. That's a really painful way to go. Dude, there's a few. Dude, you can... <clears throat> you can get... Found a little mini French flag. Yep. <sighs> oh, for fuck's sake. Need we do this? Carl. You made it. We lost the sub. Did you see any survivors? We lost some good men. I'm sorry. Did you get the intel? <clears throat> this is Marie. She's part of a resistance network that operates for the Everyone has a horrible fake accent to this game. Be dead uh, they sound fine to me. I don't know what anybody's nice talking about. You. Did you get the intel? <clears throat> Told you. He doesn't do things by halves. There, yep. you're done. Every objective. I'd say to take it easy for a bit, but... But you've met me, yeah. <laughs> I wondered if I'd run into you. Been in France long? Almost from the start. How hard is it <coughs> to get a native speaker to just fucking read it? <laughs> More than once, I've thought it would have been good to have you on my network. A native German speaker could have opened many doors. Oh, didn't I tell you? This one was born and raised in Deutschland, at least for a few years. I chose my side. You chose well? Right, we need to go. They will be looking for you. This tells us where to go next. That butcher, Moller, has a chateau not far from here. Look after this one. She reminds me a little of you. I will. You take care, Charlie. It's basically the extent of characters in the Sniper Elite, like, universe. Like, that's pretty much the extent of characters. They come in for about that long and they go. Right? Like, no one is a permanent <laughs> character in Carl's world. <laughs> get in, get out. Multiple U.S. Rangers, K.I.A. Lieutenant Sullivan and surviving Rangers <coughs> regrouping with resistance contact to await extraction. Status of Lieutenant Fairburn and Blue Viper unknown. Bleshley Park have intercepted the following. Die Widerstandsratten sind geflohen? Ich muss wissen, ob die Operation in Gefahr ist. Wenn die Alliierten Verdacht schöpfen, sind wir erledigt. Ich werde die letzten Vorbereitungen persönlich beaufsichtigen.
Where I do it... have to start getting ready for bed now. Oh, I know. But let's see. Hold on. Which one? All right. Uh, spared enemies tagged. Hmm. Yeah, way too detected. Way too detected. Yeah. There we go. There's the service record. So, yeah, dude, there's a ton of fucking collectibles and shit. And medals. For just everything. There, what did I get a medal for? Kill 100 enemies with an M1A1. You <laughs> cover an SMG. Fucking, and then you get ribbons for <clears throat> everything. Sabotage three entities to create sound mask. Yeah. All right, let's see. Back to this. Back to this. And Jesus Christ, quit. It's too many fucking tabs. Too many escapes to get back to where it should. It's poor design. All right. Well, some of you had a... Um, <clears throat> Some of you had a toy for a while. Um, so I hope you enjoyed your toy. I don't know what that was about, but I think that was the dude who fucking claimed to have like, oh, I'm surprised I wasn't banned here or something. Right? Victim complex guy. But either way, it's a solid Tuesday. Caboose, sleep well. Enjoy yourself. It's a good session. All righty. Catch you later, man. See ya. Oh, fucking Sniper Elite 5, everyone. It's a good game. I like the Sniper Elite series. They fucking, they play well. Um, You get to stab Nazis, right? Like, how, how do you not have fun stabbing Nazis, right? It's, um... That's that's always a good time. Shooting Nazis, stabbing Nazis. Dina, thanks for the follow. It's always a good time to shoot and stab Nazis. <laughs> oh, that game lets us talk, like we're like we're, we're we can actually talk. Like we can actually talk under because if we're playing <clears throat> sniper late, yeah, we can actually fucking stabbing Nazis, stabbing Nazis. It's a good time. Oh, fucking, I, you know, over the Sniper Elite franchise, I've killed thousands of Nazis, <laughs> just, just in Sniper Elite, just in Sniper Elite, I mean, I put up fucking numbers, yeah, uh, look at Wither, look at Wither, they grow up so fast, <laughs> You fucking D-Gen, fuck. Um, but, yeah, either way, let's see. Hang on. This motherfucker. This motherfucker right here. Wait, what? Hang on, hang on. Why not? I'll be nice. I'll be nice. We know this person. Uh. <laughs> oh, God. Specificity is everything. Um. I have time to take a hot bath. I had a massage tonight. I had a massage tonight, and then I actually have time to take a hot bath. That's great. Um. So, yeah. What am I going to do for food, though? Mm, I know what I'm going to do for food. Something default. As I always do. Just easier to meet macros. Fucking. I hope I can get my forearms together. So I can fucking start climbing again. That'd be good. Need to do forearm strengthening, I guess. Jesus Christ. So just getting in shape, man. Whether you're still young enough to pull all nighters like there. They are an. 
non-binary. That's what Wither is attempting to uh, say. They are an. Either way, right over to Demon Queen. Uh, Demon Queen. What they're up to. But everyone, take care of yourself. Catch you later. Bye.